Every time we turn around, they're selling a ticket for this and a ticket for that and asking for donations for this and donations for that. I want to remind you of something. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the Jews and the Christians, they are awliya'uhum ba'aduhum and ba'ad. They are helpers of each other. And they are selling tickets. And they are giving contributions. And they are making pledges to secure their power over us. And if we don't sell tickets, if we don't make contributions, if we don't make pledges, we will not support ourselves to remove that oppression. So if you are giving Muslim the opportunity to support any good cause, you must do so according to your ability. Because Allah does not ask you to do something which you don't have the capability of doing. So if you heard something, if you heard about an action in which you think there is goodness and ajra in it, you have to support it. If someone makes an announcement about it every single day, if you have money, you must give every single day. Second thing, Muslims, I want you to understand this statistic, and please don't forget this. You may say to yourself that the Ahmadiyya people, that they are kuffar. And I say to you, yes, they are kuffar. I didn't make fatwa on that. Fatwa has been made by more than 137 ulama and fuqaha all over the world. Because they made the claim against the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they have lied upon the Quran, and so they are kafirs. But this is not the issue. Every Ahmadiyya, they are giving one out of every dollar that they earn to the Ahmadiyya movement. By standing order, they are giving 10% every one of them. I ask you, if your Imam told you to make a standing order of 10%, what you will tell him? Maybe you will throw him out. This is the difference between their commitment and ours. Oh Muslims, you want to talk about Shia? You want to talk about them? Whether they are Muslims, whether they are correct, what our position with them, so and so and this and that. It's not what I want to talk about. This is between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for the ulama and fuqaha to determine that issue. But let me tell you something about them. They have something they call khums. Is anyone here they ever heard of khums? He raised his hand, please. So it is well known among the Muslims what is khums. It means that every Shia who himself is a practicing Shia, he is giving one fifth of his wealth to the Sayyid. Whoever he believes is a representative of the family of the Prophet he is giving one fifth, 20%, and he's giving it by standing order. One fifth, and can you imagine what one fifth is, brothers? This means 20 out of every $100. This is why you never hear them selling tickets, raising money to build a mosque, never. Because the Sayyid takes from them the 20%, he builds the mosque, he builds the school, he builds everything, and he takes another one-fifth and he sends it to Tehran. This is their way. I ask you, what you would tell the Imam here if he told you to give one-fifth? <clears throat> Those people that call themselves black Muslims, nation of Islam, they are Kafirs completely. But they also have told their people to give one-tenth, and they are giving it. The Christians in all the churches that you see in Australia, they are also giving one-tenth, and they are giving it by standing order. So Muslims, don't fix your face up about envelope. 
about a ticket? No, we Muslims, we should give one-tenth or one-twentieth by standing order. All of us should do it for one year and you will see what kind of power will come from the Muslims. Give for one year, one-tenth, make a sacrifice. Say, oh Allah, I will give one-tenth for one year for this masjid. I will give it to the, for whoever the administrators, I will give it. And you will see what will happen. Subhanallah, if there are 300 families that will give one-tenth for one year, you will build a school like this here. Every year you will build a new school. But if you won't do it, don't keep blaming the kuffar. Because when you point at them, there's three more fingers pointing back at you. So if you have been told to give, and they believe it is a worthy cause, you buy a ticket tomorrow, you buy a ticket next week, you buy a ticket next month, you buy a ticket every time you hear about a ticket, you buy it. And if an envelope comes in your hand and the imam says it is good, then you, you put something. Because this is the manner of the Muslims who were successful before us. And Allah, he is the best knower. Yes, sir.